day was really challenging for me. Um, <laughs> Honestly, my cake fell apart just minutes before we got in the car. So thank goodness the cake boss because I was able to go back in the house, catch it up in about 15 minutes, and we actually arrived here on time. So. And if you win tonight, what, what would that mean to you? If I win tonight, it would mean the world to me because it would give a chance for everybody to know and experience Helen's Heavenly Desserts. It would give me an opportunity to meet J.C. Hayward. Um, I grew up watching her as a child. My mother and father, she was their favorite um, news person, and both of them have passed, so it, was just, it would just be like bringing back my childhood all together. It's still unbelievable, um, but I'm so blessed, and I'm so thankful that I have made it thus far, and I'm just really excited about the final competition. And uh, if you win here tonight, what, what will that mean for you? It will mean a lot to me professionally as far as getting my own baking business up and going, um, having a foundation, um, something to lean on, credential-wise, if you will. And personally, just as important, um, because I started baking all because of my grandmother, Elaine Flood, who used to bake. And I'm just carrying on her legacy, so this would be an awesome accomplishment. So how do you feel about being here tonight in the top five? Um, it's, it's really exciting. It's a huge privilege. Um, I mean, if you're watching this, I hope you got to taste some of the other cakes. Uh, every single one of them at the semifinals was amazing, and uh, all the cakes that got through, I just I wish we got to, to try them again. Um, it's really a privilege to, to be able to bake for this this group of people, um, and especially to get to uh, to get to, to bake the cake that my sister-in-law taught me how to do. Um, I, I want to make sure I dedicate this to her uh, and all the, the wonderful things that she brought into my life and my family's life. Um, so, so this one's for you, Shan. If you win tonight, what will that mean to you? It will mean everything to me. I've been kind of going back and forth with um, my engineering degree and baking, so it would mean that you know I've succeeded in my dream, and hopefully, it'll take me somewhere very far. Do you hope to open your own store one day? Or? I do, I do. I hope that you know eventually maybe I'll have my own bakery or cupcake shop or I also like to make ice cream so anything like that combine the two so hopefully. Um, I entered this contest with a prodding of co-workers who were always asking me to bake and I enjoy it. It's a labor of love for me. I don't think it's something I would want to do professionally. I, I want to be able to enjoy what I do and to watch other people enjoy what I bake and winning this contest and just being in the semifinals has given me that honor so I'm, I'm kind of excited I wish everybody good luck and um, hope you like Lucifer's Revenge <laughs>
So um, the cake that I wanted to get feedback about was the uh, hazelnut chocolate layer cake, which I thought was a really well-balanced combination of flavors. It's very easy to go like, yo, here's the Nutella, check it out. Um, but I thought that was a very restrained hand. The, um, it was decorated beautifully. I really liked that careful balance. So um, that was the cake that I really wanted to tell you. Okay, so I remember this one first revenge from the um, from the uh, semifinals, and I was so glad to see it as one of the five finalists because I think it was a delicious cake with a great texture. Um, and enough grandma made to keep all of us <laughs> throughout the tasting. But what really was impressive was the wonderful story. So I really enjoyed eating the cake and I enjoyed hearing the story that motivated it. And as a Southern girl, the cons were just right up my alley. So my job at Martha's Table is really rewarding. But I'm not sure the last time it was as personally rewarding as tonight when I got to eat these five delicious chocolate cakes. So thank you again for, for that privilege. Um, so I, um, for the moment I saw the cakes, I was kind of drawn to the, to the aura. Uh, so Miss Valerie, I, I love the beautiful. As you saw, it was, there was something, it just looked like a, it was just a party on a platter, and you just see there was you just see uh, a lot of excitement in that. And then hearing you tell the story um, about your grandmother and all the different meanings to me, actually, then enjoying the cake added that much more as you kind of were enjoying the different the the different kind of complicated flavors that were going on. They were really were really nice knowing the the storyline behind behind each one of them. So thank you, I really enjoyed it.
contestants will receive gifts of um, some more cooking utensils because I know you burned out everything <laughs> making these cakes. So, okay, can we get the drum roll again? The winner of the 2012 May Speak Oh, look at that, look at that, I love that. It was great. I love it. Wait, 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 wait. Chocolate Layer Cake Baking Challenge presented with Eatonville Restaurant. The winning cake that will appear on the Eatonville menu. The winning baker who will win $500 cash prize plus a $250 gift card for King of the Flower and a guest appearance with J.C. Haywood is Austin Brown. Chocolate Layer Cake Baking Challenge. Congratulations to everybody. I wish we could put on the music the music from the Isaac Brothers at this point. But in lieu, let's give one more shout. Final. We are all winners. Come on down. Chocolate Layer Cake Baking Challenge is presented with Eatonville Restaurant with support from King Arthur Flour, Nielsen Massey Vanillas, Foggy Bottom Whole Foods Market, JCHaywood.com, Flavor Magazine, and the following.